people who choose to come to UCSF to do ID fellowship are amazing in all kinds of different ways. They want to take care of the patients and particularly the vulnerable patients. We are really committed to helping each fellow achieve their individualized career goals. We are supportive of people going into careers in public health, in research, into industry. We are excited for people to be clinician educators, those in antimicrobial stewardship, infection prevention. All of those are to us success. I think that hands down, my clinical experience that year was my favorite year of training. The clinical experience is fabulous. It's intense, you're gonna work hard, but it's gonna be worth it. You're gonna see a lot of patients. You're gonna have a lot of opportunities to learn. So the combination of the Parnassus Hospital, Zuckerberg, San Francisco General, and the VA just gives you this incredible diversity of patients and cases. Just the patient diversity at the three different hospitals, that we see so many different presentations, um, from the transplant stuff to like end-stage HIV presentations. The VA, you see a lot of cardiac device infections and a lot of the infections that are associated with advanced age. General is probably the place that spoke to me the most, the patient population for sure, so the ID issues that come up with that, including like tuberculosis, public health, HIV. Not only to have the knowledge to know how to treat those things, but also be able to compare the practice patterns at those different hospitals and see how much of infectious disease is art and how much is science. At San Francisco General, I think the HIV education is, is really such a, a highlight of, of the fellowships. I really wanted to delve deeper into HIV research, and I thought that this was probably the best place to do that. The research team here that works on those issues um, is one of the top research teams in the world. Ward 86, we think, is the oldest HIV clinic in the country. We opened our doors on January 1983. We serve the population that's Medi-Cal, Medicare, and also our municipal universal health care system. It's a wonderful population. It's really interesting, and um, it's very exciting to be involved in research and clinical care here at Ward 86. And the other thing we're super excited about to bring infectious disease division is the Chan Zuckerberg Biohub, which bring initiatives in um, emerging diseases and pandemic diseases uh, and their uh, expertise in metagenomics to really uh, being at the forefront of emerging epidemics such as we're seeing right now. It became really obvious this year with COVID how we all had to change our roles significantly. And I felt like everyone came to participate at the figuring out the best ways to adjust the way that we teach fellows and also how we take care of patients. We basically pivoted our entire HIV research infrastructure to start studying COVID. Everybody really stepped up and pulled together as a group. You know, we're going to learn together. We're going to support each other. What I found in terms of mentorship here is that people are super willing to sit down with you, meet with you, and really try to find the right team of people to work with you so that you can stay focused on your areas of interest. We have a mentoring program for all the infectious disease fellows to enter during their second year, during their years of research, to work on um, opportunities and how to get career development, how to build a team, how to have conflict of conversations, how to interview, how to write papers, how to write grants. And so it's really a career development workshop that we set up. I feel really lucky to have had the research guidance and mentorship that I that I have had so far this year. I have had a phenomenal mentor here at San Francisco General and another co-mentor at the Department of Public Health. Together, having that diversity of experience is really powerful and has just made my research experience that much more rich. Being able to work in a division that's very supportive of diversity, equity, inclusion is 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 essential. And I and I think the ID Fellowship is doing a fantastic job in not only sort of supporting inclusive environments, but also just constantly pushing and thinking about how can we do better. I am Nadina, um, and I am an Im immigrant to the United States. Um, and this is the the first time in, in my training that I I am the majority. Um, and it makes me a little bit emotional because I feel like um, the contributions that you have um, are really valued uh, and um, you're in an environment with people that understand your cultural background. And I think we can relate to patients better, to be honest. Knowing that, you know, the research landscape may be a little bit more 
uh, sort of scarce in terms of uh, underrepresented minorities, but those that do exist within the division already are already reaching out to me with giving that support. We don't just talk about diversity, equity, inclusion. I think we really put in the effort to make the structural changes to make this happen. In the Bay Area was a real draw to my family and me. Um, lots of opportunity um, to see natural beauty and to be active outdoors. I think the, the best thing for me is that I can eat any type of food. It is urban, living in an urban city, but also just so close to kind of escapes from the city. Near Woods, uh, which was one of the first places outside of the city that I visited when I came here. Um, and my wife and I actually got married there last year. In the Mission, which is lively, middle of the city kind of area near San Francisco General, a lot of restaurants. As an out member of the LGBTQ community, I've always felt comfortable here. I also ski and it's, you know, you can you can get up for just a day trip, which is challenging as a fellow, but he's good. Bay Area is special and has been special for a long time in terms of its focus, I think, on social justice and um, anyone who's an infectious disease, if they're interested in infections are interested in social justice and I think this is a place where you can really get involved in that sort of work. So there are those things but I think the reason I came back was just like all of that seems to blend and make this San Francisco magic. CSF has the ability to bring people that are socially minded, brilliant, innovative, kind, fun, and I could say that everywhere from the student to the resident to the fellow to the faculty level, that because of the people, I'm excited both to come to work each day, I'm excited about the research that we're able to move forward, and I'm excited about the way that we care for patients. An environment where fellows come in, each of them has their own unique skills. They're in an environment where they will be nurtured and they will be able to find their passion and their mission and their place as a leader in infectious diseases.